lovely. I am back for another video. Um, this one is going to be kind of, I guess, a first impressions. It's not really a review because I haven't really used it. I got it yesterday, and what I got is the Colette Sewing Planner, um, obviously by Colette Patterns. And um, it was released, I guess, I guess two or three days ago. No, that doesn't sound right. Like a week ago. Somewhere in there. Anyway. Um, so I just want to give you um, a little bit of details on it from the website. It is $28 US and it is a spiral bound uh, sewing planner um, with a wraparound hardcover and it's measured 7 uh, by 9 inches. Um, and yeah, so it has a summer. Um, Summer, spring, summer, and fall, winter each include 25 different projects, so you can plan up to 50 projects each year. Um, yeah, and it talks, you know, goes through questions on your style. Um, so I have recorded kind of like a little bit of a walkthrough of the planner and um, pretty much just my, my thoughts on the planner. Overall, I think it's a really um, good, well thought out planner. Um, but if you keep watching, I kind of go through each page and explain um, what's on each page and then um, kind of my thoughts at the end as well. So I hope you uh, keep watching for the review and also at the very end of the video, there's an extra surprise. All right, so let's get right into it. Um, this is the Colette Planner and I just have my name and information covered up here. But um, I did open the package and take the plastic off the, um, the planner just for the fact that it's less noise. So let me just take it out. Um, and, and I did want a sneak peek, so let's be honest. So it came um, with this, um, like just like, here, I'll recreate it for you pretty much just like this um and hopefully you're seeing that okay so yeah looks like you are so it came just like this it came just like this it has this cute little um measuring tape like ribbon on it and then it has it came with this little blue packet which i think is what damaged this uh the front a little bit. I think this must have been laying on that because it's poking out and it is a pin. I did open this earlier. But um, this, I think it must be a sticker. It doesn't look like a magnet, so it must be a sticker. It says stitch, press, repeat with a little needle and thread. And then it has this little pin with the sewing machine and a little bubble and a think bubble, I guess, if you want to call that and it's a little pin so it's cute nothing i would probably wear or anything so i don't know where i'll put it but it's very cute i think a lot of people will like that this i'll probably would i don't know i'll put it somewhere i don't know where this i like a little bit better than the pin that's just my opinion anyway so that's very cute and nice and then, like I said, it comes in this really cute um, ribbon. I do like this little <laughs> ribbon with the, I don't know, I know this is probably like the normal thing and these two things are probably like extra. I know they said that there was extras in the, and if you ordered at a certain time frame, so these are the, probably the extras, this is probably normal, but I like this actually better. <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do with it, but I thought it was cute. Um, and then it comes with the pen, uh, pencil. It says stitch, press, repeat. Again, um, it's cute. I don't use pencils. I know that's crazy, especially when you're pattern drafting. You should use a pencil, but I also don't use pencil when I'm doing like math. <laughs> I don't know why. I just, I don't know. I hate the, I just hate the feel of pencil for some reason. It just makes your hands all dirty. I don't know. I'm just weird like that, but it's really cute. And, um, so yeah, I use pen on almost everything. And then if I make a mistake, I just redo it or whatever. I'm not that precise, but maybe if um, at a certain point, maybe I need to start using pencil. 
Um, so this is the planner and I'll go through this. Let me, I think it's gonna be better if I turn the camera back around. So I'll do that now and we'll get into the planner. All right, so here is the plan planner, um, the sewing planner. Um, I do like the outside. It's a super cute, um, kind of, I guess, teal. I would actually almost venture to say, call it um, the Tiffany blue, like this part, probably more Tiffany blue. My office is actually painted Tiffany, or like the accessories are Tiffany blue, so I love that color, so that's great. And then when you open it up, let me just make sure it is in frame. Yeah, I think it is. Um, and when you open it up, it just has, um, like darts and um, what do you call these notches and different things, um, adjustment lines, all that stuff. And then it says this planner belongs to, and then here's another page. It says style and favorites. Um, this page it just talks about kind of my style, some questions that you want to think about, describe your style in three words, and then some measurements. I think they could have done better on the measurements. I would have rather have that been a full page and then do even more measurements because especially as you get more advanced, you you know, and you're starting pattern drafting and different things like that, you want more measurements than this. I think it's a start, but I think I would like to see a whole sheet of me measurements and maybe with um, a chart where you can put the measurements, you know, next to the, like the little figure. It has my favorites. Um, this, I don't think I'll use this page because um, it talks about ease and length and favorite necklines, favorite sleeves, favorite fibers, favorite garments. Um, I, I think certain people might use this more than others. I think it's, I guess it's good, but to make you think, but I don't have a lot of, I shouldn't say I don't have a lot of favorites. I just like wearing different things. I'll wear different types of fits. I'll wear tight things. I'll wear loose things. I'll wear many things. I'll wear maxi. So I, I guess I'm all over the place is what I'm trying to say. I like most, if not all of these sleeves for certain different things. I like most of these necklines for all the different things. Same with the fibers. So, um, I don't know, maybe that's just me. And then we have, um, kind of going into one of the major sections of the planner. Um, it's broken down into spring and summer and fall and winter, win, winter if I can talk, uh, or autumn and winter, I can't remember how they said it. So spring and summer, inspiration, color, and goals. Um, so this you know starts out with your goals. What is your main sewing goal for this season? I do wish, I you know, and I guess they probably maybe couldn't have controlled what this started with. I mean, I guess they, I don't know when they produced this and when they thought about doing this, um, but obviously we're in fall now in, the U.S. Um, so I would have imagined, I would have thought they would have had fall out first. I don't know, that's just me. And that's not a huge, huge thing, but just an observation. Um, and then it says list the steps needed to achieve your goal. And then it has some sewing tips down at the bottom. And then it goes into what pieces would you like to sew this season? I would have liked to see lined pages on all each of these. Um, I'm not a person that just likes blank space like this <laughs> um I like lines but that's just me so um and then it says which the three of the projects above are the most important to you so I guess you would just write that again again none of this is lined which I don't know it bugs me it may not bug others but that's just me yeah, it's, it's just me, probably. <laughs> you can say it, it's just me. I like the cute dividers. Like I do like, you know, again, it's a pattern, a uh, silhouette of a pattern and different things. And then this goes into your projects. So here, um, there's several pages of this where it has a project name, the description, the pattern name, the version, the size. You can put a fabric swatch in here, supplies needed, supplies I have, width and the fiber content, learning resources I will use, customization ideas, notes, and then here's where you can sketch it. Um, I think this is pretty good. Um, I do like the project page. Um, yeah, I can't think of anything off the top of my head that I would change. Um, 
yeah I, I think I really like this I think this is pretty pretty much what I capture in my planner I've never showed you my planner that I'm currently using but maybe I should show that at some point um, and then a little sewing tip you use a contrasting color of silk thread to base fine fabrics yeah okay I mean I guess that's a you know yeah it's kind of a newbie tip but it's good and so then you go there's several pages of this project name now I will say in this section one thing that I don't like is the spiral bound um, for this reason for the fact that okay I you know and I also think that the let me go back to the start I would have liked if this project and the sketch was back to back or or you know the project pages over here and the sketches over here some people are gonna be like no 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 I don't like that because then you're flipping pages all the time which I agree however if it was not spiral bound and it was a notebook where you could pull these things out it would be nice to be able to pull this out and then take it to the fabric store with you so in other words you'd have the project name you'd have all the supplies you'd have the versions you have you know whatever and then um, and then on the back you'd have your sketch and you could just take this page to the fabric store but that's just an idea I mean I, it's not a huge issue but I do that you know the pages are like this you know you know facing however I still would like to have the ability to take these out because also I like kind of to keep them in order so I would want to do um, you know which project I'm doing for a second third that type of thing so if I that order changed for some reason I would like to be able to pull it out and change it that's just me and I'm kind of weird and so that goes on and on um, till we get to the fall winter project so and it's the same same thing um, as far as the project so that goes on for the rest of that and then you get to the resources um, the resources I really do like this area um, so I like the stretch guide I again though I think that's a good thing to be able to take with you so I wish there was some page you can pull out and you can take this with you because I'm just not going to be I already have a planner and I have a big purse and a bunch of stuff in there I guess I could take this to the fabric store but I think just be easier if I could just pull out a couple pages and um, I do like the needle anatomy the needle size guide this is always confusing to me also this is a good reminder um, of the needle types of needles you need Um, yeah and then it goes into which I really like the resources um, goes into the measurements um, changing out um, metric um, conversions U, uh, US and metric conversions um, I do like that I, especially since um, in you know the equivalents here especially since you know I'm using so many other you know European patterns and different things I always am on my phone like converting it and stuff so it'd be, it's kind of nice to have that abbreviations I guess that's nice and then some of the glossary um, and then the representation of your body I I guess this is nice um, but I don't know I don't think I represent any of these body shapes. I guess this one's probably the closest, but I don't know. It almost makes you more weirded out that they have different body shapes in here. I don't know. Somebody may be like, like uh, sh sh you know, shut up. It's nice, but I don't know. It just, I don't know if I'll. So the idea is that you would just trace this, you know, you would put some tracing paper on here, trace it out, and then you flip to um, the other side and be able to use that in your sketches so I mean I guess it's nice I don't know I'm not that good of a drawer 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 I'm not that good anyway so I guess it doesn't matter because I probably won't be drawing too much stuff and then it, uh, there's some space to reflect in here what did you learn take a moment to reflect on the past year did you meet or exceed your sewing goals what are you looking forward to next year I do like this um, then some notes sections um and a few little kind of pockets which is always good so i i don't know i guess the what did you learn section is going to be i don't know so i guess you would do since it's fall we'll do the fall winter section and then we'll go to the spring summer and then we'll do the reflection i don't know i don't know 
But overall, um, I think this is a really good planner. I think it's a good start. Um, yeah, I, it's better than what I probably am using. Um, are there some tweaks that I would like to see? Sure. I think um, I would like to see just where you can pull out the pages and interchange and move the pages. But that's me. Some people might be like, might love this. So that's probably just a personal choice. Um, the other thing, some of this front part, I think, I think the measurements need to be, you know, a whole sheet of more measurements. Um, and then this sheet, I don't know, I don't even think I'll ever use this page. Um, but overall, these pages, the project pages themselves, I think are pretty good. Um, I mean, maybe there's a few things that maybe need, could be added. Um, but I think this is a good start. Like I, I, I put all this information in my current planner. So yeah. So all right, that is the Colette Sewing Planner. And um, yeah, I think it's like I said, I really like it. If um, if you are thinking about it, I do recommend you know go ahead and purchasing it. I think it's a good good deal. So all right, well I will see you back um, in front of the camera. All right, so I hope you liked the review of or the first impression, I guess of the Colette Sewing Planner. And so I thought I would do a giveaway for the planner. Um, and so I am going to ask that you do a couple things to be entered in the giveaway. I'll also have all the details below, but if you um, go ahead and make, you have to be a subscriber to my YouTube channel. Um, you have to make a comment on my YouTube channel and then also Follow me and comment on my Instagram. So four things essentially, but they should be really quick. Um, so I will have um, a picture on my Instagram that you'll need to comment on. Um, and then just uh, follow me on Instagram. So follow and subscribe and comment on each, uh, each place. So four little steps um, and you will be entered in the drawing. And if your Instagram and uh, YouTube page names don't match, please make sure you comment um, the opposing thing. So if you're on Instagram and you comment, comment uh, make sure your comment includes your YouTube name. And the same if when you're on YouTube um, and you're um, commenting, make sure you include your Instagram name uh, just in case they're not the same. So I know that you did all four things and you will be entered in a random drawing um, I will put everybody the, that enters into a bowl or a hat or something and pull a name or I'll just do it on randomizer, one of the two. So I guess I'll keep the drawing in for, um, it is October 27th. Let's see how long we should keep the drawing open for. I think um, a week is plenty. So this, this video is probably going to go up October 28th. Um, once I get it edited and um, uploaded, and so we'll do it for a week. So November 4th, um, midnight Central Standard Time um, is when it will close, and I will announce the win winner um, October, or excuse me, uh, it'll close November 4th, and I will announce the win winner November 7th. So that just gives me a couple of days through the weekend, just in case I'm, I have plans that weekend, which I think I do. Anyway, so I hope everybody enters the drawing for this wonderful little planner. Um, so it is open internationally because I will I will make sure you get your planner wherever you are. Um, but however, local rules and regulations all apply. So you need to be over 18 and um, eligible to be able to enter this legally. Um, and so it's your responsibility to figure that out. Sorry. <laughs> anyway, so that is the um, the Colette Sewing Planner, the review or the first impression, and the giveaway. Thank you so much for watching. It's been lovely.